Rain starts to fall in Sacramento. Slowly at first, but the drizzle soon turns into showers. It falls onto treetops and roofs and lawns, roadways and parks and buildings. But where does it go? What happens to all that water once it makes its way to the storm drain, never to be seen again? Well, we take it from there. Because Sacramento is surrounded by levees, every drop of water that collects in our storm drains, whether it's from rain or sprinklers or hoses, must be pumped somewhere else. Sacramento is unique in that the majority of other cities can rely on gravity to move water that collects in their systems. As we all know, gravity is free and pumping is not. That means that during an average rainstorm, millions of gallons of water will fall from the sky, into the gutter and into our drainage system. It starts with a drainage inlet, which is a simple way of catching water from the gutter and blocking large debris. From there, it will enter a pipe anywhere from six inches to 60 inches or more in diameter. Those pipes will bring the water to a pumping station. Gravity forces the water down to a lower elevation and into one of over 100 pump stations throughout the city. Because the water has just left a street, it still contains sticks, leaves, or any manner of debris common in a neighborhood. All those objects are filtered out with large screens that block debris from entering the next stage. Once those screens clog, which they often do during the winter months, they have to be removed and cleaned by hand. From there, the water travels many miles and makes many turns to get to one of several places. A water basin, the Sacramento or American rivers, or a combined system, which can include water runoff and sewage. There are several main types of water basins in Sacramento. Water quality detention basins act like a biological filter and are a great way to let nature do the hard work. They tend to look like ponds or small lakes, but you probably never knew they were part of our drainage system. Over time, debris and sediment will settle, while natural bacteria and plants break down contaminants that might have come off the street. While you wouldn't want to drink or swim in these basins, they provide habitats for animals to live in and make for an eye-pleasing way to hold water. Another type is called a joint use basin, which is hiding in plain sight. Often, these come in the form of soccer or baseball fields. During a period of intense rain, these will fill with water to handle the increased demand on our drainage system. Lastly, a surge basin handles water in much the same way as a joint use basin, but without the dedicated sports field on top. When large amounts of rainfalls enter the drainage system, surge basins will fill with water and empty out once the water recedes. If the water from a storm drain makes its way into the Sacramento or American rivers, it must meet or surpass waste discharge requirements for municipal storm drainage systems. The city develops and implements activities and control strategies to reduce or eliminate pollutants such as trash, sediment, and oils from the water to protect local creeks and rivers and to comply with federal and state laws and regulations. All of the hard work that goes into channeling millions of gallons of water takes a lot of equipment and a lot of power. The city's drainage system uses over 300 individual pumps to get all that water where it needs to go. During heavy storms, that equipment takes massive amounts of electricity to power everything. Water can travel through as much as 1,000 miles of pipes and over 70 miles of creeks, channels, and waterways that are also maintained and patrolled during heavy storms by the city. Short and long-term investments in an ever-aging water system are a critical priority for Sacramento because of its unique position. And, with more people moving to our city and a changing climate bringing less frequent but more intense storms into our valley, the challenge is one that the Department of Utilities is excited to take. Thanks to a hardworking team, the operation, maintenance, and rehabilitation of this large system makes it possible to uphold our commitment to the highest level of water quality in Sacramento.